Hello friends and welcome to Vlogmas Day 9! How are you? I really want to know. How are you guys doing? Maybe comment down below and support each other if anyone's going through a hard time. I know that lots of people are going through hard times right now. There's something just so powerful about people coming together and encouraging each other and sharing love and support and just knowing that no matter what, none of us is alone. It just feels really, really good to be able to use this channel in such like um, a community oriented way to give you guys a voice because those messages are so powerful. I think far more powerful than anything I can ever share. So. If you've called and left a voice message, thank you so much. It is my favorite part of every single one of these videos and one of the main driving forces in continuing to do Vlogmas. And for today, I wanted to share something that's been helpful in my life that I thought that we could all do together if you're up for it. I've definitely been a little lost, a lot of lost, <laughs> a few times in my life and something like there's so many people out there feeling very lost and alone at the moment it can just feel impossible to move forward or make any progress or to change one situation in any way when times are so hard i think one of the most helpful things that i was ever told to do was to define my values to come up with three or five values single words that really, really matter to you. And once you're aware of what matters most to you, conducting yourself in a way that aligns with those values. So it's like, no matter what is going on in your life, if you're clear on what's most important to you, and if you live your life in a way that aligns with what's most important with you, things will get better. Incredible change will happen. It's definitely been my experience. Yeah, I don't know. It's just one thing where I think of how how can we really, really help each other? How can we really help each other with something that will actually make a difference in an individual's life this holiday season or just at any time? And I think this is it. So what we're gonna do is look at a few value word lists. I will pop them up on the screen right here. So we're gonna look at these lists and choose which words most stand out to us and then hold on to them and use them as guiding posts moving forward during this holiday season. I really, really want you guys to do this with me. I think it could work. I think it could make a really big difference. So if you're up for it, go ahead and pause, make yourself a heartwarming cup of tea, grab your coziest of comfy blankets. Let's find a little bit of light. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so I've decided to use James Clear's core value Ooh. list. It's from Atomic Habits and I really, really like that book. I found it super, super helpful. So I've just sent it to Landon and of course I'll link it down below. Okay, so what you'll need for this exercise is a piece of paper. I'm gonna use my journal. You'll need a pen and then an assortment of highlighters or markers. I chose five. I think you should have three to five. Go ahead and set a five minute timer, have a look at this list, and write down every single one of the words that stands out to you. Whatever excites you, whatever you really relate to, or just whichever word just makes you feel something, write it down and number the words as you go. Just don't worry about having too many words or anything like that, just get it all out. And in three, two, one, go. Mm -hmm. Core values list. Okay, our five minutes is up. I have 23 words on my list. How many do you have, Lan? I have 17. 17. I feel like that's good. 
Also, we decided to sit on opposite sides of the Christmas tree so that we could have our own little bubble of thought. We didn't want to influence each other, so it's like our little safe space to do this value exercise in. It's very cozy over here. How's it going over there? I love it over here. I'm very happy sitting here. I can't even see through the tree at you. I it's can't very see it dense. at all. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good. No <laughs> cheating. So, what we'll do now if you look at your list, you no longer need the online list. Now we're just focusing on the list that you wrote. If you look at it, you'll notice that a lot of words have their like similes for each other. So what you'll do, you'll need your markers for this part. Go ahead and take five minutes again, set a five minute timer and color code your list. So. The first word on my list is authenticity, and that color is going to be blue. And any word that kind of means the same thing or pertains to the same thing as authenticity, I'm going to highlight blue. All right, well, that's the first word on my list, so I will choose blue as well. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so yeah, just go through your list, the highlight similar words. If you come upon a different word that should be its own category, choose a different color and move forward. All right. Sound good? Let's start that five minute timer. All right. In three, two, one. So the next five minutes is up, and as I was color coding this list, I sort of realized that each color or similar group of words pertained to something important in my life. Did you end up having five colors, or how many colors did I you did. end up having? I did. I did. What we'll do now is take another five minutes and circle the words that mean the most to you out of these color categories. So I had five different colors on my paper, so did Landon. So of all the yellow words that I had, I'm going to circle the one that I like the most and do that for each of the colors. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Yeah, so just circle the word that you like best of your color, co color coordinated organization. Will you do the honor of setting the timer? I will do the honor. Five minutes begins now. exercise is Pass. complete. Bruce getting mad side eye over here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I just looked at Landon's and we have three of the same values. Wow, that's yes. awesome. That's a really good sign for a couple in a relationship. Relationship you compatibility. Be, you should be aligned in your values with your significant other. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Do you want to share yours or do you want me to share mine first? Um, you can start. Okay, yeah. so I narrowed mine down to five core values and they are in no particular order, they just happen to be five values. Love, authenticity, growth, determination, and creativity. And mine were authenticity, creativity, community, Kindness and determination. Yes. Yeah. If you look at my color codes, love was love, kindness, 
compassion and I also had community, but that was under a different category. So like love, I felt uh, embodied kindness and community. Okay, for me, I said community, friendships, and service were together. Yeah. And then love was under the umbrella of heart and that embodied kindness, self-respect, spirituality, and love. Yes. So just to provide an example of how these words represent multiple values, growth was a word that I highlighted yellow. And within that category, I had faith, happiness, optimism, spirituality, and wisdom. So for me, growth is personal growth. Yeah. Yeah, and all of those things are core to personal growth. Mm -hmm. And I just felt like growth encompassed all of those. Yeah, yeah. I guess in the, the same vein. kind of vein as that, uh, my, my heart category included kindness, self-respect, spirituality, and love. So, and you felt yeah. like kindness was the umbrella to include all of them. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, um, I love that. Yeah. So kindness and love are synonymous. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Kindness is an act of love. So I think I'm going to write down my values on a sticky note and stick them on the bathroom mirror. Okay. And just look at them every single day as a reminder of how to live my life, where to begin. Yeah, I like that. What are you doing to build community today? What are you doing to be kind to yourself and others? Yeah, yes. It was very helpful that it was like quick and you couldn't overthink too much. Yep, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. I liked that. Yay! Thanks for doing this with me. Thanks for inspiring it and setting it into action yeah that was so quick and easy yeah and thank you guys so much for doing this with us i hope that if you decided to do it it feels good you know yourself better and you have a starting point of how the heck to just live a life that matters and that feels good your dream life you can do it absolutely the classic Rue Bear's Sleeping Paw. Hello? Is anybody there? Oh jeez. This guy's tired because we went on a five mile unicycle ride. Rue can ride a unicycle. <laughs> What a goofball. Dude. <laughs> You're so funny. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Welcome to B E Double L S The Natural Audio of our home. Oh. Jingle all the way to And what fun is to ride and what <laughs> Christmas carols are being sung, toys are being squeaked, the apron is on, this can only mean one thing. A very yummy meal is about to be made. You guys, I'm so excited because Randy's coming over tonight. She is going to stay the night, we're going to have a girls night, plus Landon and Rue. And I wanted to make the very cozy macaroni and cheese by Nisha Laura using the Instant Pot. I will be picking her up in just under an hour, so this recipe is quite intense and has so many ingredients and seems to, I don't know, just with cooking in general, the recipes always take longer than the person says that they will. I'm also a very slow cooker, but I would like to at least get this started before I go and pick her up. If the recipe is available online, I will link it.
Now we are live. <laughs> so, 10 minutes in, what's the review? <laughs> so good. I mean, the best vegan mac and cheese I have ever had. Wow, really? I think <laughs> if, if you account for health of ingredients, this um. one wins just because I don't, I feel like I could eat it like a couple times a week. Yeah, yeah, because and yeah. the cheese is literally butternut squash, potatoes, half a cup of cashews, half an onion. Like, you're eating so many vegetables. Mm -hmm. I really want to make this for my family and just say it's mac and cheese and see if anyone says anything. Okay, we can put up Cozy Christmas pajamas and then each do a box, a little yeah. mini puzzle box, and watch a Christmas movie. Yeah, that sounds perfect. Very dumb. Yeah, with steaming cups of tea. And of course, of course. Yeah. What are you laughing about? Having a steaming cup of tea during puzzles and <laughs> watching a Christmas movie. <laughs> In my Christmas jammies. Yeah, it sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I don't get the joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like normally I'm like a basement rat. Like. <laughs> Working on like dirty bike parts and stuff. Oh, uh, so and you're making a joke about you doing it? Yeah, me doing it. Mm. You don't ever hear guys talk like that about Christmas and pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, we, like, we can enjoy those things, but we don't talk about it like that. Talk about <laughs> Regardless, we're just <laughs> chilling on the couch. There will be puzzling, there will be a Christmas movie on in the background. It's just Sweet. a very casual, manly night. <laughs> <laughs> With two cups of tea. <laughs> With two <laughs> cups of tea. And, and Christmas pajamas. <laughs> Christmas pajamas, pajamas, PJs have been acquired. I feel like they match our personalities. Yes. So we're very cute. <laughs> and I'm very me. <laughs> I have a really big sweet tooth craving right now, so I've decided that I want to make peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. Oh, yes. And we've looked up a recipe. It's by Nora Cooks, who is my favorite with sweet treat recipes. And supposedly it takes 10 minutes to prepare. We'll see, but it'll be delicious. Let's gather the ingredients yeah. and then we can start the timer. Here is a bowl. Then we have some all purpose. All right, baking powder. There's the chocolate chips. I have called for cornstarch and baking soda. And then this. Yeah, I already got it. And then uh, some peanut butter. I'm a super slow baker. It takes me forever to do every everything. <laughs> Randy's a super efficient baker. She's very. If the recipe says ten minutes, I feel like generally. Give or take. So we're gonna set a timer to see if we can do this in ten minutes. Yes. We got this. We can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Is that? I did. Oh, <laughs> I can say no. Yeah. Yeah, I really like it. Oh, it looks beautiful. Yeah. It's perfect. Good. All right. One, two, two three. three. Okay. Where do we begin? <laughs> what ingredients? Cream together. The vegan. Yep. Peanut butter. Oh, you said all the wet ingredients yep. together. Yep. Okay. And then we add. What would you like to do? You want me to hand you ingredients, or do you want me to hand you the measuring cups that go with it? Uh, I don't know. We need half a cup of vegan butter softened. It's not very. It is. It's that soft. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's good. Efficient. We're that's all good. about efficiency. Okay.
<laughs> with the time. Sugar. Sugar. <laughs> sugar explosion. <laughs> it was nine minutes. Nine minutes. We did it. Yay. Is that a beat? I think I heard a beat. Does it beat? I feel like. <laughs> no, it doesn't beat. I could have I just can't remember. Cookie dough. Ruth's getting a cookie dough. There you go. The timer went off. Great! Yeah. I think they're done. They are cracking, which is a good sign. Yeah, and you're meant to squish them down with that's the true. Hershey Kiss. That's true. Oh yeah, that's true. Perfect. Seems like a good amount. Mm -hmm. The cookies are ready. This one looks perfect. Let's go do this one. Perfect. All right. Cheers. Mmm. That's so good. Mm-hmm. This chocolate is very like dark. Mm-hmm. But it's a perfect. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We are going to end our night by watching, what are we watching? While you were sleeping. While you were sleeping. I've never seen it and apparently it's very funny, very romantic comedy and just really good. And I'm very excited to watch it. So we're going to put that on and do three days worth of advent calendar puzzling and then head off to sleep. So I will see you again tomorrow. Hi Morgan, my name is Emily and I live in Idaho, very north Idaho. And yes, it is okay for you to share this. First of all, I want to say that I love and adore you and this community. I wanted to call and talk about something I think other people might relate to. A few years ago, I made the difficult decision to cut ties and break contact with my family. To make a long story short, they're just not good people. And I'm a big believer that um, respect goes both ways. I just wanted to normalize prioritizing yourself and your values, and just because they're your blood relatives doesn't mean you owe them anything. I know the holiday season is really challenging, being away from family, but just know that you can choose your family. A piece of advice I've learned from the holiday season is um, to make your own holiday traditions and prioritize yourself and be gentle with yourself and know that you are loved. And find people who value you, people who love you for you and not just because you're related. It all comes back to what you say. You don't have to be extraordinary to live an extraordinary life. Anyway, um, I wanted to wish you and Landon and Rue happy holidays. And I hope it's full of joy and laughter and whimsy. I love you so much. Bye.